day one. All of us made it in the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans, sleep from cans, even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best dock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. So it looks like we're starting off good. And eh, nobody needs food and water yet. And eh, nothing ever happens on day one. Everyone knows this, so I won't waste your time. Day two. Ooh, sounds like radiation. Stinking ass. <clears throat> planning far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now, we should be more interested in planning for our water rationing. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, no trouble dared to cross her path. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Today has been fine for Dolores thus far. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Mm, that's what every man does around his wife. Time to ration supplies. Nobody's complaining, so nobody needs anything. Uh, I don't think we need a prep yet. We may still be radiated. All right, next day. Day three. Nobody's dead yet. We're on a good track. We played truth or dare when it turned out we only kept asking questions. The most common one is, are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that's enough game for now. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Some water for Timmy would be nice. If there's anything we need, it's water for Dolores. So it seems like everybody's starting to get thirsty, but I think they can go another day. That's, that's just my opinion. Nah, we're still not gonna. No. Oh. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that's nearly as big as a cat. The good news is that we probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they are huge and will probably attack us when they get the chance. Ooh. Uh, book. Books are always good for that. Yet they can live through explosions, radiation. I don't know. Maybe the book wouldn't kill them. We dodged a bullet this time. That is if a bullet with huge hair and eight legs. And a glowing head. Hopefully we won't have to deal with them again. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to get her something to drink. Timmy's in terrible shape. He needs water now. So everybody needs to drink. Okay. So everybody get a drink. So I'm not going to prep to go out yet. Ooh. We don't have a med kit. Whoops. That may not be good. Ooh. Everybody looks like they're... About ready to kick the bucket already. Except for Mary Jane. She looks fine. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're more tired than we were, and there are more. Pro there are other problems we will need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from rations or radiation sickness. Ugh, can't talk today. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Timmy is really tired. So, you guys don't believe me then? Keep moving on then. You know what? I, I am going to prep to send Mary Jane out to see if she can do any good. It's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully, we will find or we will keep our peace, or else we might need to act like wolves. Survival of the fittest and all. Uh, no, I think Ted might be able to take them all. Day six. Nobody dead yet. Yeah. Doing good so far. It's easy to feel a bit down when living underground like that. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of it. Pessimism. Pessimism. Hey. And try to bring some cheerfulness into our lives. Mary Jane's hungry. Nothing new going on with Timmy. And Ted is hungry as well. Um, we'll give you two some soup. I'll be nice. Ooh. I can do it. You know what? I'll send Ted. We'll see how this goes. It's probably not going to go well. Who left, who left the can sit in the... Ah, nasty people. Uh, Mary Jane wants water. Timmy wants water. Water. And Ted is gone. 
not be a bad thing. Uh, no, I'll make y'all suffer. You can wait. Ooh. High time we start wonder stop wondering about what's going on and start asking questions or listen to reasonable answers. How about tuning to a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? And I just sent Ted into it without finding out anything first. Ooh. And that does not help my suspicion. We were able to get a weak signal and tap the government's emergency announcement service. Guess what? Great news. The fallout's gone. Oh, okay. So Ted might actually survive this. It should be safer to travel on the surface now. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Timmy needs something to eat and water. Dolores needs food and water. So everybody needs food and water. You're not alone. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food stash. We can't let it get to it. We can't let it be in here when we sleep. Shoot it. Shoot it in its furry freaking face. How are you people snoring? Your eyes are all still open. So how'd the bunny thing go? Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still on top of the food chain. Yes, we shot it in the furry face. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy, though. And Dolores is calm. And Ted is still freaking missing. Oh, well, that's great. So nobody needs anything. We felt that we should do something about our interior decoration. The feng shui is really off from the fallout shelter. While we were moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? There's only one way to find out. Ah, I'm going to pack the gun just to be safe. Usually, if there's a hidden door in a bunker that you own, it's not a good thing. Everybody's still alive. The gun's still intact, so we might actually be okay. We figured the best way to be sure no one jumps out or jumps us inside the mysterious room was to bash the door down and open fire. Ooh. When the smoke was gone, we were able to assess the operation. The room is empty. We hit nothing but walls. We barely dodged one ricochet gone bad. I almost killed us with my own stupidity. Yay. Mary Jane isn't worried. Timmy's fine. Okay, one of you has to be shaken up after almost being hit with ricochet. One of you. While Mary Jane was rummaging through our belongings, she found a single plant seed. I don't know. From the games I've seen and the ones I've played, that plant seed is trouble. No. Keep the damn seed not watered. Let it die. That's what we chose to do with the rest of humanity. There are plenty. There are plenty of better ways to use our water. Drinking comes to mind. So Mary Jane will have to think of another way to occupy herself. It seems Mary Jane took it harder than we thought. She's really emotionally invested in growing that plant. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. Timmy wants water. And Dolores will not last long without water. You can have water just because I'm worried that that might mean you might die. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans. And that unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strangely glowing, suspicious big insect wildlife. Roaches weren't that big before the war, were they? What? No, no, it depends on where you're living. Hit it with a book. Everybody's still okay? Dolores looks all right. Timmy, you're still uh, a little peckish in the cheeks there, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> We dodged a bullet this time. That is, if a bullet was huge, hairy. Okay, so it had eight legs and a glowing head. Okay. Mary Jane's fainting. Timmy's in terrible shape. Water now. And Dolores is fine. So you guys, you guys can have water now. After I've been a dick. If there's anyone who can rescue us from the hellish situation, it's the government. We'll listen and see what they have to say. Though it's probably nothing important. Ted's back! And he broke the game. You are a terrible manager of things we lend you. You you cannot go back to the surface. Nope. We knew it. The government has not fallen. And they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates on the radio, but sure, they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days. They told us to await further instructions. Ted was safely returned. We never liked people who boarded... Long distance buses with baggage full of food, especially the kind that smells bad. But in a current situation, 
So we didn't like it before because it stank, but we're just gonna bring it in the shelter because hey, we're hungry anyway, right? Our local athletics team was preparing to depart for a championship. Well, we got some more water, but the gas mask is ruined. Timmy is hungry. Ted, Ted. You get food and water, and Timmy, you get food. You don't get any water. Not for you, Timmy. Why is there a turkey when this has nothing to do with the turkey, I'm sure? There are so many things you can do in a tiny bunker. There are only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker. So we thought, hey, why not play some games? They're not just for kids, you know. I don't know how to take that. And again, who is snoring? You are all awake. Hey, lazy, lazy people. We thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was annoying and we quickly stopped. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Oh, it's in my... Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we were going through, Timmy is being very brave. Good job, Timmy. Dolores would love to eat. So food, food, and food. Food, food, and food. Timmy's just clicking up the wall like, yeah, I got nothing better to do anyway. But who gets to go outside today? Timmy, go, Timmy. Sorry. Bye, Timmy. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has has to drink something. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Dolores won't survive without water. And Ted is still freaking hungry. Fatty. We have plenty of distant relatives, but none, none of them mean as much as to us as Auntie Ada. She lives in the country. So there's a good chance she's still configuring her cow counting machine and not worrying about nukes raining down on her hen house. Too bad we don't have a photo book of her or Dewey. We put some photos into books a long while ago after the giant coffee spill incident. Well, you can look in the Boy Scout book. I don't know why you would put it in that book, but okay. Are you tired? You look tired. Still leaving your messes everywhere though. Ah! Nasty. We did it. The photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages. Yay! Mary Jane isn't worried. So everybody's okay except Ted, who is now thirsty instead of hungry. Make up your mind. You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, damn you! Damn you all to hell! That's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up the barbecue last spring. Those were good times, even if they wasted a perfectly good barbecue. Is that how many days I've been in here? No, they have messed up count. People can't even count in this day and age. Go figure. So we're at day 17. We haven't lost anybody yet. Memories or not, we need to keep our heads clear and get a grip on reality ahead of us. So we're going to start going crazy soon. Everybody's all right, though. Difficult to keep our spirits up in the situation. We do hope this whole mess will be over soon, or else we might end up to play as much worse than this cozy shelter. Yes, this tiny, cold, concrete bunker that is leading you all to insanity, slowly. We're trying our best to remain calm in the situation we're in thus far is far from normal, and we might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Mary Jane is thirsty, thirsty, nothing. What's that trickling sound? Why is the wall so wet? Ah, water. Oh, radio. Oh, we saved the tunes! And, okay, if water is orange, that is weird. The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage is done is, is upsetting enough to us, or was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing this mess will take days. Now what's that smell? We were afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland safe. Yay! Our expedition reached a church, which was still standing. 
Hmm. Odd. Religion. Oh, wait. Evil eggplants. Oh. Salvation! The evil eggplants have risen. Cultists decide they won't be needing any holy water, so hey, we got some wine. <laughs> oh, that's a dark joke. Yay, we got a flashlight too. Alright. Who's stabbing who? We'll prep once more. Music from the radio stopped abruptly. Instead, we got to listen to the transmission from the army. Almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turns out there is something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that they're alive somewhere. And we don't have the map to do that because I saved the radio first. Well, if I didn't save the radio, we wouldn't be able to hear about the transmission, so it's a back and forth battle. Sorry, guys. Day 20. Woohoo! Nobody did. We were sure we could find the location without a map. We were wrong. Hopefully, we'll get lucky. We'll get lucky next time. Food, food, food and water. Food and water. Ah, food and drink for all of you. You're going outside, wifey. Bye, dear. Bring me back more food, please. There's no more tomato soup. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble because no one dared to cross her path. Timmy is hungry. Feed his tiny face. Always wanted to throw a party with a huge cake. For some reason, it never worked. One time, we were promised a great cake, and it turned out it was a lie. Ah, the cake is a lie. Ah, I caught that one. That was a disappointment. We weren't glad. We were definitely getting a cake when the radioactive clouds are gone. That, that's optimistic, guys. You'll get a cake, I'm sure. We're probably all gonna die. Planning far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now, we we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing. It's impressive how old Mary Jane's handling the situation. Timmy, how much food do you need, you tiny man? Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there's any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness. And their owner started growling in the most terrifying way. Flashlight. I want to see what it is. I don't care if it kills one of you. I want to see what it is. Day 23. It didn't kill us. We decided to check what's coming, coming for us with our flashlight. It was a dog. Yes. Wait, what does the dog do? Never even got my dog. Poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning, we open the door to let it out. It still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it will come back later. So, you got the dog, and then you lost the dog. Not even 24 hours, guys. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Take water and shut up. It's easy to escalate silly arguments in closed quarters. Don't help. We were chatting. Suddenly, we're all fighting. Let's hope we get this over with soon. Yeah, as dirty as you guys are, you might want to shower, too. Stopped arguing, but for how long? Everybody's all right. Now. About to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be at this part of the wasteland? How the hell did they survive the nuke? Should we open up? Mm, I don't know. Usually that's a bad thing, but... Eh, why not? What the hell happened? What happened to your hand? Uh, how do you people do these things? Someone started shooting at us. Uh, yep. My stupidity is going to get us killed. We closed the hatch as quickly as we could, but a shot or two grazed us. Mary Jean is fatigued and injured. That's eh, okay, she can die. I swear, if you don't stop eating all the food. Maybe I should stop giving you the food. I should, I should just hope that you die. I didn't say that. I'm not that... Okay, no, I'm that evil. We could tell the stranger was disappointed. None of us... But that was none of our business. If ever was a time to get used to the life of being disappointed, the end of the world is probably it. I agree with you. Completely agree with you there, guys. Mary Jane's hungry and thirsty. Timmy needs water. And Ted needs food. Food. Water. I said water. 
Today on Army Broadcast interrupted our breakfast. I don't have the paper, so whatever it needs, we're screwed down that one again. Sorry, guys. 27 days in this bunker, and nobody's dead yet, though. A pair of strangers, probably bandits, searched the remains of our house. One of them mentioned the captured woman whose description matched Dolores. We don't think they'll let her go. So, I just lost my wife, and I was a dick beforehand. Water, food, food. You guys are gonna die because you're gonna starve to death. Wait a minute. You don't need food. The dog is more important. Now we're all gonna starve and the dog will be happy. Oh. This is why in apocalyptic situations, I am not gonna be the guy deciding things. I will be kicked out of every shelter. Let's find out what happens. Dog is back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what they put in that soup, but man, that's some good stuff. That's some good shit, man. Oh, we decided the dog needed a name. Oh, Pancake. Come here, Pancake. Anyway, he stayed around for a while longer, but was gone the next morning. You little... You little son of a bitch. You took my food and left. Anybody thirsty? Because I, I don't remember. I honestly don't. <laughs> well, so starts starvation. You'll be fine. You only got shot. She's going to die. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Yeah, I don't think that'll happen. She got grazed with a couple bullets. I don't think she'll be back that fast, guys. Sorry. Ted seems to be doing all right, even though the world has gone to sh a crappy place. Yay. Nobody needs anything. We're okay. Spiders. I hate those with a passion. They're still alive, but apparently they are sleeping with their eyes open again. When it's us or them, there shouldn't be any reservations when it comes to choosing your arsenal. We knew those spiders stood no chance against well-aimed bug-killing spray, so we used it. So, oh! We're not gonna starve to death! We're okay! And you guys just need water, so... We might be alright for a little while longer. I thought we were all going to die. One minute it was all fine, the next we were at each other's throats. It's just me and Timmy down here! The hell are we arguing about? We're men! We get along, just... Never mind. I'll shut up. Some men can't stand each other. And sometimes father and son arguments end up in fights. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Yeah, that's why you can't sleep. What was that? Did the radio static just stop for a moment? Let's try tuning in on the signal. Yes, we shall do that. Now watch, I'm gonna lose my radio somehow. Magic, man, magic. Nope, oh, it's still there. Okay, we're good. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. We could hear nothing but the annoying static. Better luck next time. Ted? No, no, you don't need food yet. You'll be fine. You're a grown ass man, you'll be alright. Nice beard, buddy. Almost as good as mine. And yeah, you came back twice as injured as I sent you out. What'd you bring back? Nothing made us happier to the sight of Mary Jane returning from the surface. The nuke did the most did most of the destructive work, but the gasoline reserves. Oh god. The gas station blew up, guys. There is no way we're getting our corn nuts now. Abandoned truck. Okay, okay. If the truck is abandoned and it wasn't the gas pump, doesn't that mean it blew up? Or was this like a raider came in and uh, no matter, we got soup. More soup. We're gonna, no, we're not going to starve. We got a map, and we got the bug spray. So, yay! And a deck of cards. Let's 
for that mission, you may eat and drink. And Ted, you can have some food now. We'll prep for another expedition. It seems to be working. Okay. We're going to put our signal out for the army since it's the third time they've asked. We just might survive this on my first go on this. Yay! Now watch. Ah, uh, Mary Jane's diet can use some more food. Timmy needs water. Ted needs water. 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 Water and food. Bye, Ted! Wait. I'll give you food and water because I am sending it. Oh, that was a close one. Good, good call me. Timmy! Goodbye, Timmy. Timmy! No! You are so gonna die out there. She barely made it back. I may have just killed us. I may have just killed us all. Mary Jane's died. Could you use some food? Timmy went out in the wasteland. So, you're gonna be fat and eat all the food that you just gathered. Way to go, fatty. Pancake! He seems very nervous, keeps barking and jumping. When we open the door, he rushes out, only to come back a moment later and bark again. Maybe we should follow him. I'm taking the gun. I don't trust anything. I need the gun. Day 36. And now I've injured Ted. Don't leave me to choose things in the wasteland. How many times do we need to say this? The old saying goes, better safe than sorry. Rifle seems to be the right choice to gear when venturing into the unknown. Didn't expect to run into the trigger happy folk who started shooting before asking questions. No, I kind of did. Gunshots were enough to send Pancake running. Uh, that dog. At least he didn't eat my food this time. Better safe than sorry. Best choice of words if you got shot. And that's what happened. One of those thugs had good aim. You're both going to die from injury. Why? And they're sleeping with their eyes open again. Too bad if we don't fix these wounds up soon. Things might get much worse. It's going to get worse, guys. I about to say, you rejected my wife? We shall talk to Mary Jane. She seems kind of hurt and sad. Oh, I thought she left. Mm, keep your chicken box over there, child. Nothing seems, nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the latter, but talking alone seems to do the trick. This game. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Though we got him sick with radiation poisoning, you know. More soup, our savior, and water. Yay, Timmy yet? Wait, who needs what? Uh, Timmy needs food. <laughs> so, Timmy. Eat up, child. Nobody's going out tomorrow. Not happening. Oh, oh that was the thing about cake. Something better happen pretty quick. I'm gonna have to cut it short. Planning far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now, we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing. It's always better when we get this. Trash is getting disgusting. Throw the book. Freaking roaches. Day 40. Oh, they are all sick now. You are green. You got goblin disease, buddy. Dodged a bullet. Okay. I'm going to give you all water except for Timmy. He's going to get food and water. The army isn't coming. Not yet. <sighs> what the heck do they want us to do? Start rebuilding houses while we're out here? They are all going to die. Not Lumber Jackson. We're not chopping down the park. <laughs> I 
We really missed the life. We had the space, the sky, the food. More food! We wish we could go back to a time before the damn bomb dropped. Not gonna happen, guys. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mary Jane, she wants drugs. Lots and lots of drugs. Okay, I'm sorry. There's a lot of space down here, and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose. So the stench gets worse. I'm gonna investigate it. Did I poke it with a stick and succeed, or did I get sicker? Looking at the hole, fearing something might come out of the claws, fang, and other mutilated body parts. Or mutated sharp body parts. Nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat. That's my food now, you darn dirty rat bastard. Nobody's getting anything. We will survive. Isolated fallout shelter, share a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of noise since we could. Since dawn, couldn't get a lot of sleep. Chains will be coming from under the floor, and coincidentally, we just found a manhole. Confused to go down and check what's going on. Either we're gonna live or die at this point. Oh, 44 days in, and we are all gonna die of sickness. Barely made it out alive. We did a crocodile or alligator. We all need food and water. Use it. Bathe in it. You'll be fine. I was right. Cured your sickness. I am a miracle worker. Bunch of mushrooms. In the I'm gonna eat the mushroom. Mushrooms are good for you. Something. Uh, nope. Just got him sick again. Way to go, me. See? Mushrooms are bad. You would expect the post apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet, you know? Most people won't or aren't around. Yet there are some. We have someone at the door. A water ship. Nah. You ain't getting my water. That's mine. explain what a water chip was. He tanked it. He thanked us a few short with a few short words and left. Drink, drink, drink. Drink, drink, drink. Can't cut down those trees, man. Can't cut down them trees. You are still sick as a dog, though, man. We're not chopping down that part. Maybe another time. Always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing happened to Mary Jane. Timmy isn't feeling well. Animal stampeding. I don't know. We do have a gun. We might actually be able to use that. Be all right, right now. Yes, three cans of soup. And more cake. More cake problems. Day fifty. We gonna fix it. We gonna fix it with a book. I got faith in you. Yes. Faith in humanity restored. Not really. Still terrible. Hey. And you all need food now.
And Ted is dead. Well, what happened to you? Played I Spy. It was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored with the letter W. Ted's wounds were too serious. He got infected. And he died. Well, I think I'm going to have to leave this video here. If you liked the video and you'd like to see more, leave it down in the comments. And uh, don't forget, subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day, everybody.